Very talented freshman and for Coach Lawson. She said today's a question mark. We've been practicing. We're going to see what happens. Kennedy Brown, Maggie Dugan get us started on the opening tip. And the college basketball season is underway. Thousands of middle schoolers here today. You see them in the Blue Devil tops. They're ready to roll. This place will be bonkers on the first basket. Kara Lawson starting five features the freshman Jaden Donovan who goes right to work for her opening bucket. And I think that might be a theme of a lot of the season for Duke. Jaden Donovan, the number three ranked player by ESPN in the country, the highest ranked recruit ever signed by Coach Lawson since her tenure at Duke. Aaron Russell's lineup with Grace Towson, the senior point guard running the show. All five returning starters for Richmond. Good club. With Hill operating the offense under 10. Kara Lawson noted her defense will have to be on par against this ball movement offense. Late in the clock, three. And an air ball for Richmond early. To Nia Mayer, the Boston College transfer. One of the best freshmen in the conference last year in the ACC. Finds Jackson. And an opening miss in the Duke first three of the night. Richmond team off 21 wins. They love to move in transition. And a block from Brown. Kennedy Brown, she's tough down low. 6'3". She's going to alter shots. Last year, too. So productive. Jackson running in transition. Open three. It's short. Now it's the veteran Richmond team driving in. And a chance for free throws here. Katie Hill. Uh, he's a great teacher of the game. He develops talent. He couldn't remember the restaurant because he was so in love with Molly. But these two are now sweethearts and have three kids. No, but I'd been in Cameron. I met my wife there for our first date. She was a GA coaching college basketball at the time. And Donovan takes the extra step. Too early turnover. Donovan on the back cut just couldn't handle it. Duke gives them an opportunity to set up their full court pressure. Coach Russell telling us handling Duke's pressure is going to be really important today. They struggled with it last year. A little oh, Lewandowski step with the step. Back. Nice step back shot. Well done by the Spiders. That's an old school move from the senior guard. As that one rolls in for Duke. Some good minutes last year, averaged 21 a game, and is really expected to step into more of a leadership role this season. Good hustle again, Spiders on the floor. And possession stays here. That's Lewandowski. Here's the grad transfer, Lauren Van Arsdale operating the offense. A turnover there. And now Duke can run. And here's Richardson taking advantage. Spiders across half court, There's wide the open, open three. three. And Pudnick missed it. That's the opportunity the press will give you sometimes. Wide open threes. And Richmond's a streaky shooting team. They hit the first one. Look for a consecutive ones to start to fall. There's Mayer open. She misses. We've yet to see a three today from either club. Another three, Richardson. That time she hits it. And the Spiders are going to have to do a better job limiting Duke's second shot opportunities. That was a point of concern for Coach Russell. you got to keep them off the boards. Duke's such a... A great rebounding team, so athletic. Duke's defense, number two in the country last year, and putting a ton of pressure on Richmond early. Coach Russell telling us it was one of the best defenses he's ever seen in his career. I mean, that's quite a compliment. There's a three by the Spiders, and it goes down. You see how well Richmond shares the ball, and they run their offense with a really nice cadence, and Duke wants to be defensively disruptive and not let them play at the pace they want to disrupt the cadence. Oh, good ball pressure difficult. and a steal for Richmond. Here's Katie Hill. She keeps running and a block by Brown. That's her second. What a weapon. Here's Duke in transition. Richardson extends the lead. Here's the mismatch on the switch. Hill down to four. Ben Arsdale late in the clock. Can't hit the three. And the biggest player on the court, Kennedy Brown. See this Duke offense starting to come to life. Four of their last five after the slow start. High screen here. For Ashlyn Jackson running some point for Duke. Nair finds Thomas, the new freshman, who hits her first career three. Delaney Thomas. And here's Van Arsdale, the grad transfer out of Hampton. And an offensive foul. The pick there. Multiple chances to score, and they turn it into a layup. Miss wow. that one, but they get it again. Mayer gets it back. Third chance, no. Little tip drill, and a foul drawn. Got to put a body on. You've got to push back. Duke's so athletic, you have to keep them off the glass. Debbie, you noted it. Top six 
freshman class in the country. It's a switch. Late in the clock. And a shot clock violation. Richmond hasn't scored in nearly two and a half minutes. A high screen here. Towson goes under. Going into a high-low look. Alucci on the drive. Nice step through, and the freshman converts. Wow, just a nice little fake middle. Takes it baseline. No help defense. Great read by the freshman. Down to one second. Townsend has it stripped. And a dot. The limit turnovers in the open court, and they've got to figure out a way to get through the pressure, whether it's with back cuts or... Drawing defense, as we just saw, hitting a couple shots, get their scoring rhythm going. Slow first quarter for Jaden Donovan in her debut. And it's Emsbo. Carol Lawson noted she was shining on the court against Mingit in the scrimmage. And Thomas has had a nice High school number 29th best recruit in the country. Another big piece of this number six recruiting class. A little curl cut, not really well defended, and way too easy. Dugan with a great shot fake and hits the free throw jumper. Now in the top 20 in career scoring in Richmond. Addie Budnick, such a pleasure to watch for Coach Roussel. And now a fight for the board. Comes out to Dugan. And then a steal. Look at the effort. It'll be an offensive rebound. Great hustle by the freshman. Conowa had three siblings. Brothers usually create a sense of toughness for young ladies. Duke re-enters Reagan Richardson here early in the second quarter. And now ball pressure. Alucci with the steal. Give her the dime as well. A great first game in Cameron. Wow, the presence of Alucci. Okanawa coming to play. She's saying, hey, Carol Lawson, give me some minutes off the bench this year. I like it. And that'll lead to an over and back. Against the pressure. They did such a great job in the first quarter, breaking the press. Now back-to-back -back turnovers. That's nine Duke points off turnovers, nearly matching Richmond. In this first half. Jackson on the drive. What a first half for Okanawa. Give her another three. Kids in the stands love it. We've got a bunch of middle school, elementary school kids here today to see the Blue Devils play. And there's a nice take by Green. She started her career as a walk-on. She's a local Richmond kid. She's from Midlothian, Virginia. She played at James River High School and earned herself a scholarship and a start in this spot, spot in the starting lineup. Look at the second chance points, and Reagan Richardson bangs it in. And Richmond counter. Well, nice up and under, but an air ball that time from Olstrom. Richardson, she didn't give up the back cut. She defended the drive, forced that really difficult contested shot, and that's what Duke wants to do. They get, want to give you one contested shot, and they've been doing a great job making things difficult for the Spiders. Meanwhile, Jaden Donovan on island. Listed at 5'5", five, five. I think that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Coming up with the rebound. She plays bigger than her size, that's for sure. All-conference guard in the A-10. Nice move, and a bank shot good for Katie Spread Hill. you out and look to attack off the dribble. Well done by Katie Hill. She's a junior. She's been there for a while. She knows the system. This Richmond team returns 90% of its scoring. A ton of options. As the freshman Donovan bangs it around the post and loses it. The Spiders can run here. Down 15. Nice pass. Open three. Hill. Just short. But the offensive board. Ulstrom brings it in. They need one of those to fall back to back baskets. So and Townsend them. hits the three. There you go, Debbie. And that's just another piece of the puzzle that you improve upon with this young team. You just keep working out the kinks, finding some discipline on offense. Richmond continuing to stay in that 2-3 zone. That allows that kick out to the corner, and bam! Go with the press break again. Sideline middle, right up the middle. That's where you want to get that ball, see if she'll pass ahead. Lauren Van Arsdale, electric, all-conference guard at Hampton, has it intercepted. Spiders have been trying to feed the post, but the Blue Devils have done a really nice job getting their feet around. Nice Speaking high of feeding the post, how about Brown down low? Taking advantage of that size. Good find from Reagan Richardson, too, who's just checked in. And Arsdale with some of the best hair in college basketball. Weaving and bobbing. Great back cut, and that's what Richmond does best. Nice extra pass, but the Spiders are struggling. From oh, Conwa held her dribble perfectly for the jumper. And now forces a steal. The freshman wants two more and couldn't hit it. Look at this tussle down low. Putting on a show for the true freshman. We talked Jaden Donovan in the open, but Conwa double figures in this first half. 
Now the dribble drive. And a nice finish. Dugan wanted the foul. Duke needs to control the tempo for the rest of this game. Eat into this possession right here. Get a good look at the basket. Mayer operates with 10. Calls her own number. And a fight for the boards. Brown couldn't save it. Into the cheerleaders. It'll go to Rich. It's preseason second team this year. I'd love to watch some 8 10 basketball this year. Richmond's picked fourth. It's a great league. Great league of great coaches. And Rhode Island features Megan McConnell, the Becky Hammond mid major player of the year watch list. Here's an open three, and Budnick hits her first. You see Richmond not afraid to shoot the three. 12 attempts. Nice drive, Richardson. A little fade away, and a tough look goes down. Wow. Final seconds of the first half. Townsend, nice kick. Van Arsdale misses the three. And that ends the first half. Good look for Rich. Spider shot 35% from long range as a team last season. So he said everyone out there can shoot it. Having a hard time inbounding right now. The Richmond team that reached the WNIT second round. Really came on strong towards the end of the season. Winning five of their last seven reaching their first semifinal in the Atlantic 10 tournament. What a block by Richardson coming over. Now she leads the show in transition. Finds Brown, who runs the floor and feed the big player when she's moving. It'll especially become a learning curve when the USA women's national team comes to town next week. That's going to be a fun day for folks in Durham. It's actually this Sunday. It'll be a neat opportunity. Dugan open, rattles out the three. Second chance in. Good board by Budnick. But Nick just not having her best day. That was a nice step back off that stagger screen. A great read. Mayer rattles in the floater for eight points. Grace Towson is doing a nice job getting the ball inbounds quickly against the press. Good shot fake, Budnick, and that's where she's special with the left hand. And the looks they want. That was three or four open triples in this half for Richmond. Richardson knocks that one in. Reagan Richardson says eight points for Reagan. What a nice effort. We noted the loss of Balagoon and Taylor, and it's who's going to become that lead scorer. Today, it's Reagan Richardson. Horn set. Run that fade screen play again. Well guarded by Duke. Hill blows by her defender, and Brown cleans it up like trash duty on a Monday. Nice pass to Jackson. Better ball movement. And Duke knocks in the three. Great extra pass. Way to share the basketball and timeout, Richmond. Richmond, meanwhile, can't buy a bucket. Four of 18 from deep. I'm sure at that timeout, Coach Lawson told her Blue Devils it's time to pick up the intensity on defense. We're not disrupting them like we were in the first half. This two defense has caused a ton of problems for Richmond today. Setting up their play in transition. Now a 19-point difference. Open three. Richardson continues the red-hot start. Give her 21. Why not? She's feeling it. Feed the hot hand. It's like at the blackjack table. Just keep feeding. Double down. There's a kick out. Ben Arsdale. Great shot fake. Budnick needs this one. And the prayer is answered. Big three for Richmond. Really, really nice ball movement. This is a great game defensively for the Blue Devils to have to play because there'll be a lot of lessons learned from the film. That's Richmond's first three since early in the second quarter. It's been a long time coming. Five for 19 right now. They had a lot of wide open looks to start the second half. 26%. Whoa, look at that nifty finish. Line drive. Mayor so quick. Speaking of speed, here's Van Arsdale. A triple jumper and a sprinter in high school, and she draws the foul. Ben Arsdale can't hit the free throw. Neither team's been to the line a ton. This is the eighth combined free throw for both. And Budnick fights for the board. Now Budnick's shot may not be falling, but you can see how she Oh, look at the presence the of Emsbo with a tip. Now she runs the court, begging for the ball. Oh, feed the post. Dugan's working hard down low for Richmond defensively. I will say this crew with D. Cantner letting them play today. Very physical. Richardson. Oh, she can't be stopped in the second half. And you just gave Richardson too many options there. You have to make her use that screen. If you don't make her, she's going to go left. Oh, how about Van Arsdale with the N1? Her in Hampton. That's a sixth year, 23 year old. That's a lot of basketball being played. 
There's Richardson, who's done everything today. Now to Emsbo. Nice little give. Offensive board. Step through and hangs it in. Nice move. Nice little give. Offensive board. Step through and hangs it in. Nice move. Kanawa is fun to watch down low. We haven't said a Lucia Kanawa in a while, but there she is again, adding two more to her total in her first game in Cameron. Can I buy a vowel? <laughs> There's a drive Van Arsdale. That one rattles out. And Kanawa gets back to it. Nice time to Richardson who runs the floor. Way to feed the post player. Good drive by Dugan. And banks it in. That's a nice shot from the all-conference A-10 product. That's what Richmond's able to do with you with their multiple guards on the floor. Pull the big men out. Tack them off the dribble. Three's not falling. Richardson can't be stopped. 28. Since she transferred in from Georgia last season, averaged 21 minutes a game, was more of a role player and played some great minutes. But wow, what a debut. Oh, this look, season. Richardson's open. If you're a coach, feed the hot hand here. Akanawa says, I'm pretty hot too. Loose ball. Out to Richardson. Look at the ball movement. Duke to Emsbo. Now that is great passing. Beautiful extra pass by the sophomore Ashlyn Jackson. We haven't said her name a lot today. Another All-American player on this Duke roster. Duke's moving the rock in this third quarter like the Iowa Hawkeyes. Best passing team in the country last year. What's changed in this third quarter for Duke? I think they've gotten the pace to pick up. They've gotten Richmond playing a little bit more of a frenetic pace, but they're getting it done with their defense, and they're turning their defense into offense. So now they got the crowd behind them. You got excitement on the bench. You got freshmen who play with a lot of energy and passion. Coach Lawson's excited. And a career night for Reagan Richardson, who will sub out. That is a well-deserved round of applause. Here's an open three for Olstrom. Richmond just can't buy a bucket from deep. What a save by Townsend. But throws into the kids. Double high screen. That's an illegal screen. A lot of movement there on the pick. I know coaches always gripe about certain things officials watch for, but that is a point of emphasis this year. Townsend on the move late in the clock. And bangs it off too strong. The Duke Blue Devils flexing their muscle, led by Reagan Richardson. What a first performance. And 14 assists for the Blue Devils, too, which is nice to see. You want to see your shots assisted. Duke did a great job last season sharing the basketball. Unselfish play. Tell you that your offense is really clicking on all cylinders. Another deflection. Siobhan Ryan gets it back, steps through the lane, and lays it in. Nice finish. Right in the middle of it, Donovan. That's just too easy, but a miss. Flying in for a rebound, and Jaden draws the foul. She's ranked number three in the country. She's one of ESPN's top impact freshmen. Kara Lawson noted she'll be dynamic against any opponent, offensive and defensively. Just the learning curve that'll come. Nice coverage on that back cut by Ashlyn Jackson. Speaking of wingspan, good pressure from Kennedy Brown. Olstrom drives in and gets the foul. He's got a special team this year, and he's got you know, seniors who have been with him know the system. He's got a great supporting cast. Rachel Olmstrom for a second free throw and hits that one. And the wide open one got the shot they wanted. O'Connell gets in the lane. Good step through and she banks it in. Wow, this pressure. She's got such a quick step. I mean, she catches and attacks and slices and dices her way through. She's Chef Gordon Ramsay making a dessert. That's fun to watch with her getting after it. Nice down low look and the lay in for Olmstrom. And in the 2 3 zone. 26 point differential. There's the flash cut to the high post. Way too easy for Jaden Donovan, but she's unable to convert. So Richmond team that won 21 games last year brings nine of the top 10 players back. A ton of experience, including Budnick, one of the best in the A10. It's been a slow night for Addie. That time she goes to the post move. Just struggling today to connect. Nice kickback. Mare open. This is the three. A little offensive board. This girl is so tough in the paint. Ben Arsdale sizes up Mayer. This is a fun matchup of guards. Ben Arsdale sneaks in. And the smallest player on the Scheduling court. Scheduling Richmond. Battle all different conferences early. Before 8-10 play. 
Divides the whole city of Richmond. Ben Arsdale played at Hampton, battled, actually battled Richmond. Duke hit the portal as well. Mayors come in from Boston College. And her presence fell. Nice defense on that ball screen by the Spires. Once again, the sweet spot against the zone. That ACC is where you... The, the ball movement's impressive. 15 assists on those 30 buckets. Dugan looks to create some space. Dugan's fighting hard, just not able to hit some of those open looks. Gets her own board and then lost it. Here's where the speed of Okanawa. Let's see if she can find an option. Instead, calls her own number and heads to the line. Using to sub in and out. Getting these young players and new players. Foreseeable future. Only only 10 available on the roster. It's important to get all 10 some time. Yeah, and Coach Lawson telling us, you know, they need to know our defensive schemes and know where their spots are in the offense. And it takes a little while to learn. A little isolation play there. This defense. This is a talented freshman at Conowa. Throws it ahead, and Mayer lays it in. Off the pick, open three. A little off there. Duke in the second half has opened up its transition play a little bit. Cable on the drive. Oh, nice pass. And Enzo converts it. Budnick would love this one to end her night. That's a good three. Oh, she needed it. Here's Emsbo down low. Oh, the passing to Wood. We will head to the line for her first career. Two. That is the first career point. Of this talented freshman class. First two career points for Jordan Wood. Pretty. And now this pressure from Duke. Carol Lawson noted she wants to run this press all year long, even with 10. Mentioned with a lot of new faces on the court. Grace Townsend re-enters. Nice kick out, and that time an open three. One of the first times tonight that the Spiders have been able to string together three-point shots, all created by Grace Towson. I see what you did there. Spiders string it together, <laughs> uncoil one, as Wood misses the three. This girl's everywhere on the glass. Oh, no way! Duke's won 46 home openers in a row. Looks like they're well on their way to 47 nine. Five for six from the free throw line. And get this, 11 rebounds. 22 and 11 for the freshman in her first game in Cameron. Wow. Open three. And that's been the story for Richmond. Tough look, second chance and a foul. They have a talented freshman class themselves, but right now really not needed because these <laughs> upperclassmen are so seasoned. Right in front of her. Carol Lawson, ABC, always be coaching for the last seconds. As this board should wrap things up. The Duke Blue Devils led by a couple of stars. Okanawa and Richardson dominate in this 23 season opener. The Duke Blue Devils for the 47th straight time secure a home opening win here in Cameron in a dominant second half over Richmond.